Missouri leads by five at the start of the fourth quarter. Nate Gatter, Jordan Roundtree back with you from Columbia, where the biggest storyline for Tennessee all night was Ray Burrell, who at one point had scored more than half of the Lady Vols points. She has 23 on the night. But of course, now, Jordan, after the rolled ankle that you're going to see at the end of this package, there's a chance that Tennessee is going to have to go the final 10 minutes of this game trying to come back without their leading score. That would certainly be a devastating loss for Tennessee, as Ray Burrell has done it all. She has been Tennessee's only three-point presence. She is killing it on the offensive rebounds. There you can see her getting walked off the court. Would be a big loss. We need players like Renaya Davis to step up. She's looked more aggressive after only playing seven minutes in the first half. Hasn't made a three-point shot yet, but it's three for eight from the field with a few rebounds. She will certainly have to step it up and put up more shots if Ray Burrell does not return. Tell you what, though, the way she just walked back into that huddle and wiped down her shoes looked like a player who is not planning on sitting on the bench for the next 10 minutes. Uh, it doesn't look like it to me either, Nate, and I'm sure Ray Burrell is thinking there's no way I'm sitting this one out after the performance I've had so far. Down five, a lot at stake for Tennessee. I wouldn't be surprised to see her back in the game. And what a story that would be. And I would imagine huge motivation as well for the rest of her teammates to see her retake the floor and try to fight through this one to secure what would be a very big win for Tennessee. Davis corner three. That's a good start for the Lady Balls. That was one of the most contested threes I've seen Tennessee have to take so far as Missouri has been daring them to shoot the three point shot. Good in rhythm shot by Renaya Davis, and I'm sure we'll see her take a couple more threes before the end of this game. Davis has been playing massive minutes for Tennessee, including 39 of 40 Sunday against Georgia because Tennessee just has needed her and Ray Burrell. They both played 39 on Sunday. So perhaps the fact that she was limited to seven in the first half with foul trouble will help her legs down the stretch. Dixon can't answer with a three. Walker has the rebound, and Tennessee can tie or take the lead. Horston off the mark. Offensive rebound key, and the Lady Vols with a 5-0 run in the opening minute of the fourth quarter to knock the ball game up at 60. Tamari Key has been... Defended pretty well by Shannon Duffy and Ladeja Williams in the post when she's getting the ball on the block. What she does really well and what's really hard to stop is the offensive board. First, this Renaya Davis three. Only a 25% shooter on the year, but shot 44% last week when she was the SEC Player of the Week. Even more importantly for the Lady Vols, Jordan, this is where they've been dominating. Absolutely. That offensive rebound. Missouri has got to have an emphasis on turning and boxing out as soon as the shot goes up. They can't jump with Tennessee. They can't reach up and grab the ball. They have got to get a body into Tennessee if they want to take home this win. Tennessee has 38 rebounds, Missouri only 20. Even better for the Lady Balls, Ray Burrell is back on the floor with her game-high 23 points. Davis, same spot. Lady Balls lead. Maya Davis is feeling it. That's her sweet spot. She loves the baseline. When she's on the baseline, she's going to shoot the three or jab and rip baseline. You see her on that baseline quite a bit. She's pretty effective in that spot. 8-0 run for Tennessee in the opening minute 40 of the fourth quarter. Blackwell on the baseline. Frank for three. Tied up again. Davis and Frank back and forth. That's a huge shot by Haley Frank. You can tell Tennessee was feeling the momentum there. They were feeling themselves, getting some offensive, brief, some offensive rhythm there. Haley Frank, clutch shot to stop the momentum. Inside, Kishkidawa has it go off her hand, and Dixon the other way for Missouri, looking to retake the lead. The pass toward Williams deflected and tipped off Ladeja Williams out of bounds, so the Lady Vols get it right back. Once again, Kush Kittawa struggling to get out to the three in time to guard Haley Frank. Tennessee's bigs are struggling getting out and guarding on the three-point line, something they're not used to. They're not used to having to guard players who are so comfortable playing the guard spot and so comfortable shooting the three. Rare miss from Burrell. Renaya Davis has been hot. Step back goes down. 14 points all in the second half for Renaya Davis, and Tennessee leads again. I had a feeling this was coming, Nate. Obviously not a player who is used to sitting the majority of the first half and going into the second half scoreless. I knew she'd be coming out aggressive. She loves the step back. It's so smooth. She can elevate and shoot over defenders with her size. She's feeling it. Frank against Davis. Double teamed. Troop underneath. Williams free in the mid-range. And the rebound to Walker. Davis again. Mid-range again, hits again. 
10 fourth quarter points for Davis, 16 in the second half, and the Lady Vols lead by four. That mid-range game on display once again, like I said earlier, Nate, not a lot of players, not a lot of coaches value that mid-range game that much anymore. Renia Davis and Ray Burrell is the dynamic duo of the mid-range. They love the mid-range and clearly effective from it as well. Missouri will keep possession. Shannon Duffesey subs in and replaces Ladeja Williams, who you could see tonight, Jordan, for the gutsy effort she put in has not been at 100%. Renia Davis, meanwhile, with 16 points on seven of nine shooting in the second half. First team all SEC, honorable mention All-American a year ago when she became just the fifth Lady Vol in the last 35 years to average 18 or more points a game, joined Bridget Gordon, Shamiqua Holdsclaw, Tamika Catchings, and Candace Parker. If there's a better collection of four players at any program anywhere, I'd like to hear the list. I would too, that's a great company to be in. Blackwell past Burrell and a big layup for Asia Blackwell who has scored 12 kind of quietly but her offense has been important for Missouri. That's something that's going to be interesting to see for the remainder of this game is how well Ray Burrell can move on defense. Asia Blackwell has gotten past her a few times especially on that baseline and I'm, I'm sure with that ankle it makes it even harder. 18 points for Davis in the second half in 13 minutes. Still a two possession lead for Tennessee. Here's Lauren Hansen late in the shot clock. On her 20th birthday, the Auburn transfer against Walker. Gets Troop open, left it way short, and a shot clock violation, the first of the night by either team. That's something that Missouri has struggled with in the past, is that shot clock violation and going a little bit slow on offense. That's something they've improved on this season. Gets their first one of of the, of the game, there was a good defensive stance by Tennessee. You can see a little bit more sense of urgency there, getting over screens, guarding, guarding players off the dribble, and boxing out and getting the stop. Certainly they have the length and athleticism to be an elite defensive team, and Kelly Harper talked about just really needing to give that max effort on the defensive end of the floor that when they're fully focused, this is an excellent defensive team, and you can see it in the field goal percentage they've allowed and in the blocks they've had. Absolutely, they disrupt shots all over the court. It's hard to get shots off over the top of that length. Missouri has done a good job of it so far from the three-point line, and Tennessee is showing some grit on defense this far. I'm sure we'll see it for the remainder of the game. They're also sixth in the country in rebound margin, and you can see why. 40 rebounds for Tennessee tonight against 21 for Missouri. Five to shoot for Blackwell against Horston. With two, has to get it off, and she's fouled at the horn. Great move by Asia Blackwell. She used every bit of time she had, but she'll go to the free throw line after the break. Chance to cut it back to a one possession ball game for Mizzou. 